Well, I guess what I would say is that we were a divided country in 1968 and we're a divided country in 2017. And so in that sense, you could say nothing has changed, but the nature of the divisions uh, is, is considerably different. Um, we, are, we are now divided in a kind of a red-blue environment, red for the Republicans, blue for the Democrats, uh, and people tend to take their cues about what they think about many issues based on kind of where they stand as opposed to vice versa. Um, I think another thing that's changed is just the nature of the technology. Um, the, in 1968, television was the dominant force in American politics today. Social media, you could argue, is the dominant force. And so I think that uh, in a variety of ways, we're in such a different environment today, uh, and we're all grappling with how to deal with that. I think what I would say is get to know the country. Um, one of the things that I think people make the mistake when they think about being political reporters is that if they are simply in Washington or perhaps in a state capital, uh, they're where they need to be. What I've found from long experience is that the more you know about the diversity of the country, uh, the diversity of the politics around the country, uh, the more you're capable of understanding why things are moving in the direction they're moving. Uh, one of the things you can't do in Washington as a political reporter is really get to know voters and talk to voters. Uh, and voters ultimately are the decision makers in our American politics. Um, and so that's why I think that if you're, a, if you're an aspiring political reporter, there are all kinds of things you ought to do that are similar to what you would do if you wanted to cover you know, any aspect of, of American life. But for political reporting, understanding the country is vital. That's a really hard question. Um, you know, I think m many political reporters would admit that they are, they are wrong more often than they are right about where things are heading. Um, so to sit here today and try to project out, I, I don't know whether in the presidency of Donald Trump we're in um, a truly abnormal moment. It's certainly unique, it's certainly different than anything we've experienced. I don't know whether it's, it's uh, abnormal or the beginning of a new normal. I think it's going to take some time for us to understand that, um, and I think we're going to have to watch it day by day to try to get a better grip on where things might actually be heading.